Alright, I had to leave momentarily. To go pick up my laundry Set order. Blood. No, never mind. It is bloody blood, look at it. Uh, I kinda wanna put away. Nope. Put that away. <laughs> That's what I want. Oh. Okay, yeah. Just drag it. Alright. That makes sense. That makes sense. Something good here, I hope. I am in a totally different spot. So that's cool. Nope. I wanted to look at the recipes. Oh. Interesting. Potion of healing, elixir of resistance. Okay. Okay, this is cool. I do love me some alchemy in my games. I was just thinking, I'm like, when am I gonna get a roguish type? Because I need somebody who's actually good at lockpicking. I think Asterian, the... The vampire is uh, gonna be my rogue type. Did I already loot all of this? Oh shoot, you can just telly, you can just teleport. Okay, I was like, oh, I'll click on it and see if it's like, no. And it said yes, so thank you. I feel like we got that southern area pretty well. And I picked up three companions. Like that's a, that's a, that's, a, that's fast. Yeah, ow. Oh, that's right, you can jump over. I keep forgetting. Why am I- oh my gosh, I am still- why did that, that hurt so much? Yeah. Why do they make such weird relief sounds? Uh, it's like, okay, calm down. What? Oh, uh, where? Ninja mind flare is still a dangerous In the one. center here? Okay. I was like, I was, I see this gold glow. I was like, is it there? Dying. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. It's dead. You could end its life here and now. If only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. It's making me feel compassion. This isn't right. Step I, I worry about this one. You can't move. Can't think. Ah. Thinking is mercifully done for you. It will be a joy to serve. To die for it an honor. It's possessing your mind. Forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. I like how we use two... Like, two fingers to like hold our head, we're like, hmm, like we have like, telepathy powers. <sighs> Can I add, yes please. I feel like I might be wasting her spells, but this is awesome, honestly. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I crit fail. <laughs> It doesn't matter if she uses spell on me then. You try to break oh. through, but its mind is impenetrable. With a last surge of defiance, it slaps your efforts away. Dang it! The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate mass. Why? Why do you have to call them pearls? Close those eyes forever. Oh wow, okay with my foot didn't even use my weapon monster death is too good for it i need to have somebody else pick up stuff okay cool Let's try this way oh dang there is another path out here there's another 
Oh my gosh, speak of the devil and the devil will appear. I was, there's a, I was about to say, there's a golden glow on my map right there. I need help. Uh, do you have a mind bug too? Something's on my mind. Hurry, I've got one of those brain things called. Excuse me? In the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Uh, you can, you're capable enough. I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. Uh, why are we on the ground? Strength. Um, I don't know why we are on the ground for this. Like, we could be wrestling upright. I was just hoping that he would we would have a conversation about it. I didn't expect for me to just walk away. I saw you on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pot. What did you and those tentacled freaks do to me? He sounds like such a baby. Uh, you have it backwards. They snatched me up too. I'm not an idiot. I so ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? Uh, it's the Mind Flayer's worm. It's connected us. The worm? Of course. That explains things. Somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. He's a vampire. He should be able to take care of a little worm guy over there. Or a little brain guy. Um. Glad to see we're all caught up now. Indeed, we are. Please, allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> My name's Astarian. Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Snatched me? <laughs> he sounds like such a pompous guy. Um, I will tell him my name. I mean, I don't think he needs, like, my whole story, but I'll introduce myself. A pleasure. So, do you know anything about these worms? Uh, yes, unfortunately, <laughs> they'll turn us into mind flayers. Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Control it. Interesting. Uh, we need to get rid of it. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. Uh, you can travel with me. Tempting, but your party seems a little uh, crowded right now. I like to have my space. <laughs> You're welcome at my camp then. I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't a bad idea. Safety in numbers, after all. And I hate to turn down an invitation. All right. Maybe I'll see you there. I Good luck. Just don't... I... <laughs> it's just... I was actually kind of hoping to bring him with me because he's a rogue and I need a rogue type. Um... Dang, if I wander around right here, am I going to find all of them? That's four companions right now. Um, also, I don't even know if there was actually a, a little tentacle. I think there wasn't actually a little brain monster, which was the other thing I was thinking. Was that, like, he's trying to trick us because I know he's a vampire. And he was smart. Like, he, you could see his teeth. Oh, my gosh. Could I hunt animals? Scared Bear? Is that a bear or boar? Okay, I like, that does not look like a bear. Can I talk to it? <gasps> uh, 
that three years. I'm not a druid. Ooh, let's see. Animal handling. It is a wisdom. Uh, I don't have any other... Uh... I don't know. I think I'm wasting her spells. <laughs> but here we are. I am... The boar grunts. And I oh, they approve! Its beady eyes. Uh, don't worry, I won't harm you. shuffles its trotters, Aww. I'm sure. Then it dashes away into the wilderness. Okay, bye! If I was a druid, I could maybe have talked to it. He was just right there, he just showed up. What is that, four out of like the six? So we still have Karlak? I don't know how to get to her. I tried not to look up too much. And we have Will. Will is the other- But the two that I- the two that are my favorites. At least from looks. Freaking, of course. Oh... Well, I think we've done... A pretty thorough job. We're running around. <laughs> I just keep thinking, I'm like, there's so much to do. But there actually isn't a ton to do in the, uh... What?! I didn't finish exploring the ruins. Dang it. Oh, okay. Well, now, okay. Now I gotta look. And I gotta look it up. Okay, I feel like a giant idiot. Apparently there was in the ruins, which people were probably, like, screaming at me. Um, but, uh, in, inside the ruins, there was a room that opened when we pushed the button in that room. But I didn't see it. Because I am... A secret rooms opens somewhere. But I don't know where. Okay. I didn't- I totally didn't even think about using the key. Eh? Armed scribes. But no sign of a struggle. I wonder what was so subversive about their words that they commanded protection. All right, cool. Finishing up this really quick. I totally get, like got distracted and left. Oh dang! There's even oh, there's so much. Holy cow! At the ready. Ooh. Also, I did see. It. Oh. Okay, and by studying certain spell scrolls... I mean, I am not a wizard. Okay, okay. That's fine. Um, I did see. They're like, loot the cult. Must be satisfied. Oh. Oops. Uh, loot the skeleton so they don't pop up and use weapons against you. And I was like, I would do that anyway. Please let me click on myself. Yet. No one stopped me yet. I like that. Light on okay. my feet. Light on my feet. Ha 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 ha. I don't know if you said that because of the torch or what. What's hiding here? What's hiding here? Who does she sound like? She sounds like some heavy key. It's that like accent. What's hiding here? Sounds like. It sounds very familiar from like Dragon Age. Let's see what this I don't know does. what this door does. <laughs> oh my gosh. More area. Why so much area? That is a chasm though. Open up. Looks like Open someone up. wanted to bury their secrets. Where? What? Did you see? Did you perceive something? Oops, that's not. Oh, another soul coin. A war pick? I could use a war pick. Oh my gosh, the torch does that much damage plus fire damage? Friggin' I'm trying to use the torch on everything. Locked. This book is far lighter than it should be with such a massive lock. 
Hmm. Paladin wisdom. Channel the magic spark of your oath through the lock. Sure, we'll try. Give me. I don't have any... Mm. Dang it. Roll again. I might as well. I have two inspiration. Ooh. Okay, yeah, you could have used that three last time. I like that they give you multiple tries with inspiration. Ooh, this is cool. That's cool. That's As the cool. lock opens, a loose page comes with it. Magic pulses from the parchment. That's cool. What was once script is now an obliterated scrawl. You have a sense these are names, a list. But of what? Religion. Examine the book more closely. Oh, baby. Oh, good. Whew. It's just... Whew. An unnatural gods. 20. These are the names of oh. gods. Once lost, but now restored after the second sundering. Ah, yes. The last three names in this book sit close together, Ooh. but are so devastated by the scroll as to be unreadable. Entire pantheons have dwindled and been reborn, silently recorded by this book. That's so cool! <gasps> oh, a sa- that's- yeah, yeah, okay. That would be something I found inspiring, so it was good that I used an inspiration point, because I got another one back. See, I like, um... Oh, she's inspired too. Okay, so she really likes it when you find things about divinity. Scroll of Ray of Enfeeblement. So she likes it when you give her your, her space. When... Oh, what else did she approve of? Her and Gail both approved of something I just did. Um, she likes religious things. Oh! Oh, that's right, when I resurrected anyone in my party. Okay. And Gail must have approved because he has the sage background and she doesn't care. <laughs> she hasn't been inspired yet. That was cool. See, I like to play tanky warrior types, but in real life, I, I mean, I am probably have a high constitution if you wanted to say it like that. Um, but I, you know, I prefer more like, I like scholarly pursuits, I guess, but, I all, but I'm like a field scholar, essentially. So, um, I like to play that kind of character, kind of, in my games, like, I always think, like, why wouldn't you want to learn about the history and the lore and blah, 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 you know? Um, let's have yes, you... Why yes, why not? Interesting. And I think if I was reading it right, instead of the just horizons. necessarily needing... Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Um, instead of just using the scroll on occasion you can uh like learn the actual spell so that's cool hey i didn't think anyone worshiped the scribe of the dead so i didn't think anybody worshiped the scribe of the dead that's mean and that would explain the book also honestly That um, no traps, please. it's the list of the of the gods. Maybe some of the not just the gods, but like the gods who have died, which we talked about earlier, like or which was mentioned earlier that even gods can die. I think there's a secret room. <gasps> a button. Told you there's a secret room. <laughs> hmm. I saw it. Even without your silly little dilly wop. Anyway, I do actually want to read this first. The Scribe of the Dead. 
the inscription oh. is in a language unknown to you. You can see the script here. So, okay, nothing else. Okay, I'm gonna go poke this button. Love it. Oh, we can use the turn on dead feature though. Also, who wouldn't loot the skeletons? You see a skeleton, you go, oh yeah, we should definitely. Hey, something just woke up down here. Ah, uh, we should definitely do something about that. You know. Let them come. The darkness can be to our advantage. I wonder if I could lift them on fire before. Does that say this thing was the warrior of twenty-eight health? Holy moly. What? That was Divine Smite and I missed. Haha, <laughs> 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 take that. I think we killed it, actually. Yeah. We can't loot them because we already looted them. That's hilarious. Let's actually use... Are you the one? You're the one. Dang it, I don't... I want to use chromatic orb. This one's probably reduced, yeah. Are you serious? I guess it, at least it's an AoE, I guess. Excuse you. Well, true strike activated, which means she'll be able to... has a much higher chance of... Oh, here, let's do it. Action surge. Yeah, we have an increased chance of hitting the enemy. I shouldn't be like waste. I shouldn't be wasting all my. Oh shoot! I forgot. I am using the torch, <laughs> but that's fine, I guess. I uh. Oh, well, okay. I guess I am using a torch. So I think we only have the two left. Ah, ooh. Oh, when are you gonna do it? Talk to me. So it saved its concentration spell because it's holding up the silence over there. Step to it. Ah, well. Gal doesn't need to do much. I think we will finish this off. They didn't yes. want to surrender their valuables. Even after death. Let us fill Why? our lives and depart. The dead need no trinkets, but we might make use of them. Okay, well, people like to give the dead trinkets. How much farther can I go? Girl, you're fine. Action, not reaction. <sighs> All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. These boots are not as bad. A lot of effort to hide one sarcophagus. Uh huh. A lot of effort to hide one sarcophagus. You always check the other things first. If it's empty, they shouldn't. Can I, I could break these though. I was like, if it's empty, they shouldn't. Uh, speak with the dead. <laughs> the dead old Mozigo is from Jurgle's Scriveners of Doom. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Could I use that? I would like to have a necromancy spell. Scroll of Tasha's hideous laughter. Leave a creature prone with laughter without the ability to get up. Is that an evocation? I can't tell in this in this light. Let's read. Here lies the guardian of tombs. Through knowledge comes atonement. Richly adorned sarcophagus. E. Are you friend or foe? Nobody else does anything, even when I was getting like a dagger held to my neck. A lich? Or a demi lich? I don't know. I don't know the difference. Looks more like a mummy. Sorry. 
So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me, right as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, eh? I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Eh? Paladin, um... Little spooked by the crawling out of the tomb bit. <laughs> oh. Let's ask. I yes. am not the same as those thou hast slain, if that is what thou askest. Wilt thou answer my question? Heck yeah, man. This could this could be breaking. This is actually interesting. This could be a way to break my oath without even having to do anything evil. So, I ask again, what is the worth of a single mortal life? I feel like uh, Paladin in her situation, right? Oath of the Ancients and everything. Like, she, she believes in the cause, right? But I think it's maybe curiosity that urges her to maybe see the other side in a way, to see that maybe there are things she doesn't understand about like undeath and whatnot. It's interesting, the circle of spores druids, they, cause the druids are supposed to be like a part, like they're supposed to, you know, be like, you know, the, the cycle of life, etc., etc. Like things, all things must die, blah, blah, blah. The circle of spores druids is actually a bit um, necromantic. I mean, they have like fungi and stuff like that, but they are also purveyors of undeath in some ways. And the way they see it is that, um, as far as I know, like all things will eventually die, but delaying it for a little bit's not the worst thing ever. So I don't know. I feel like her curiosity would be piqued by an undead entity that doesn't isn't mindless. This is obviously a thinking sentient entity, you know? No one life is worth more than any other. We are equal. Life's only value is its currency. Doesn't matter to me otherwise. Each life is of infinite value and merits sacrificing everything for. Interesting. Only life that matters is mine. Depends on the mortal. You know, I say my, my default is to be like, everyone's life matters. But like, I think your average Joe Schmo's life is worth more than like Hitler's. You know what I mean? Like... If I had to put the two on a... But I guess, what is worth? You know, we could get all philosophic about that. How do you define worth? Is it somebody who makes the biggest mark? Because Hitler wins in that case, right? Then your average Joe Schmo. Average Joe Schmo doesn't do much. Like, you know, for the, like in the grand scheme of things, whereas Hitler was named, will live forever in infamy, you know? Even if he was, like, just, like, evil, you know? Um, and did terrible, terrible things. Like, he left a mark on the world. Um, a scar, but a mark nonetheless. So, how do you, I wish I could ask, like, what, how do, well, you know. I guess then, actually, that would lead to my paladin one. That depends on the virtue of the life that is lived, but at the same time, like, that's so, that can be so narrow-minded, where it's like, Maybe a street urchin is commits some petty crimes, but I don't think that street urchin is worth anything any less than like a noble, you know? But I guess by true virtue, it's like, are you a good person? Like despite, like there's complications, right? I, I'm getting all philosophical about this, but this guy asked me the philosophical question in the first place. Uh, And I'm, tem I'm always tempted to take the ones that are, like, specific to your class or race or whatever. But there was one, the draw one of the draw ones. I was like, no, that's mean. <laughs> like, I wouldn't want to, like, I wouldn't, if I was, you know, I'm her. I don't want to sacrifice my life to save, like, a noble who's, like, abusing his, you know, vassals. You know? Like, I'd let that guy die. And I'd save the other people. You know? So, obviously, so, they're in, Yes. Each, each life has a value to it, and it depends on each person what your value is, you know? Like, what you see as value, you know? If you just see, like, the average 
person as like you know just doing their best to like live a good life you know is worth more than like a noble that's a decision that you make you know like if when it comes down to brass tacks like if you had to pick which one that you would sacrifice yourself for i would sacrifice myself for joe schmo commoner before i'd sacrifice myself for like some puffed up noble you know okay and i think that's how uh, i don't know her would be a little maybe a little different She's a paladin, but I guess I would have to say that depends... Like, I feel like none of these are great. The only one that's even close to what I want to do is this one, even if I'm a little worried that it's going to be a bit narrow-minded. So, that depends on the virtue of the life that is lived. I'm curious by what standards thou shalt judge. She's I like, yo, bro, you want to... I am satisfied. She's like, you want to get into this now? We have met... And I know thy face. We will How see you... each other again at the proper time and place. Why? Farewell. Why is this up here? Oh, bye. You're just gonna... You're just gonna walk off? Astral knowledge, dexterity, has proficiency in acrobatic sleight of hand and stealth. Why? So she's kind of dexterous too? And like sneaky, even though she's a fighter? Hey, I can still loot your coffin. Thanks. Or your sarcophagus, rather, there is a difference. Interesting. He just just wandered off. Okay. We um completed the ruins. Yay for us. Whoopsie daisy. It looks like I can't. Eh. Eh. Three. Hang on. Are you going? I, I, I cannot. And bone dust. Still comforting after all this time. Put, put the torch away. Woman. We have nothing more to discuss. Continue on my way. As if I were not here. I must I attend this place after so many years away. We will see each other again. Soon. I'm excited, honest honestly. Um character select so you could switch people mid conversation. That's awesome, honestly. Cause then you don't you're like, oh I'm gonna go click on this person and then it turns out you're like the worst person in the world to be having this conversation. And you can switch. Or you can just attack mid-conversation. That's cool. You seem very certain of that. The mechanics huh? of fate would be difficult to explain to one such as thyself. What? Are you calling me stupid? Regardless, it will occur. How do you still have eyeballs? You shouldn't still have eyeballs. Anyway, I'll go ahead and call it here. <laughs> That seems like a good a good stopping point now that we actually finally finished the uh, the tomb. Um, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all of you, to every single one of you. Thank you so much, Adam, my acorn tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it. And also thank you to Fane, my other acorn tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very, very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I truly believe that you're the greatest. I was trying to say other things too, but I'm going to say you believe. I believe you're the greatest. <laughs> Blah. I'm just I'm I'm in fantasy land now. And I wanna give an extra extra special shout out to Christopher, who is my forest tier patron and has gone above and beyond in his support of the channel for a long time now and who is just super supportive and super wonderful and comments all the time. I really appreciate you a lot. I hope you know that. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.